welcome back to my channel. So this video we're going to be talking a little bit about investment pieces, just pieces that are a little bit more premium, that are going to last you a long time and are very timeless pieces that you're going to get lots and lots of wear out of. I think with everything that's going on right now and fast fashion being such a big topic, I do think it's very important to buy into pieces that are timeless, that you're going to get a lot of wear out of, that are not just seasonal and are not so trend focused that you can't wear them in the next season or next year. Now before I get stuck into sharing some of my favourite pieces, I have partnered with Shop Tagger on this video. I have done in the past because I absolutely love the application. I think it is so great, especially if you are someone who is looking to save some money. Now, if you aren't familiar with Shop Tagger, Shop Tagger is an application that you can have on your desktop or your phone and what it allows you to do is to basically save items to a wish list and it'll notify you if that item is either out of stock and goes back in stock or if it reduces in price so if you have your eye on something and you are waiting for it to you know hit the sales um, shop tag is a great way to notify you for when that product has reduced in price so you can get your hands on it I use shop tag a lot so I use it for wish lists things that I really like that's a little bit out of my price range at that point but something that I'm working towards. I have said in the past that having a wish list just really allows me to be a bit more conscious with my shopping and work towards buying pieces and also it reduces your chances of impulse buying. Impulse buying is very dangerous um, which brings me to my investment rail because I think this is less about impulse buying and more about smart buying. So starting with my bag, so if you are following me on Instagram or if you have been subscribed to me for a little while, you would have already seen this bag. It is the Chloe Test bag. It's definitely the it's bag this season. Now I rarely treat myself to handbags. I'm very smart with my bag purchases because it is a lot of money. So just a little bit about this bag. Now when it comes to handbags, I tend to buy neutral colours and that's because I know how much wear I will get out of neutral colours. It's a little bit more timeless if you wanted to sell it on as well. You'll have a little bit of a better chance of selling it on than a very vivid colour. So I never really buy into handbag colours. Um, I just go for neutrals or blacks because they go with everything as well. So this is the small camera bag. I have it in a tan. Um, again, like I said, the tan was just so complimentary for my wardrobe, so I knew how much wear I would get out of it. And considering this is the small bag, it is extremely roomy, I can fit so much in here. And it also has a front flap for any extra bits, and I can fit my camera in here, which is amazing. I can rarely fit my camera in my bag, so this bag is perfect for everyday use. So it has two straps, it has like a little grab strap, so you can just pop it on your shoulder like so, or just hold on to it in the nuke of your arm um, and it also has a detachable long strap which is also adjustable so you can adjust it to how long or short you want the bag to be. So this bag retails for £1,250 and this again was just one of those bags that I really put a lot of thought into before I bought it and also more importantly I fell in love with it the minute I saw it I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was so set on getting this bag and I think when you really love something you will get your wear out of it and you will get your money's worth. So investing in a good quality bag I find is very important. Moving on to boots. The boots I'm going to be sharing with you are these very simple black boots from Arquette. I have a mid heel because I can't walk around in high heels. I'm a trainer girl um, so for me to wear this sort of heel is, is just enough. These are very comfortable, they're £175 but they are real leather, really durable, you can really feel the quality when you wear them. There's just no level of discomfort with these shoes for me, even though it has a little bit of a heel on it. Black boots are probably the most versatile piece as well, because you can wear it in summer, you can wear it in winter, um, especially with some very thick chunky socks underneath. It is just really wearable um, and there are so many different ways that you can style a pair of leather boots. You just can't go wrong with it, so again, a really great investment. Moving on to a wrap coat. 
this year has really been the year for wrap coats for me but saying that it has been a piece that has cropped up every single year during autumn and winter um, it's very Max Mara this is very affordable it's from Mango and it is a wool blend and it is £119.99 considering that price is really nice it's heavy but it's lightweight it's kind of hard to explain unless you try it on but it's just a really thick good quality coat but it's not that really heavy thick material that drowns you and makes you feel a little bit claustrophobic again i just love the belted style i think it's really stylish and belt coats just a little bit more cozy for some reason so i have this in a small this coat has really deep pockets as well which is amazing i always need pockets with any coat it, if it doesn't have pockets it's just it's not working for me i absolutely adore this coat i think it's again a very versatile piece it's not something that's going to go out of fashion so you could pull this coat out again next winter or the winter after that and it will still look good it will still look stylish and chic moving on to knitwear knitwear is obviously a big thing for me i am always in knit today I wanted to share something a little bit more premium and that is cashmere I think buying into cashmere jumpers is really key if you are building a timeless wardrobe and if you want to invest in pieces that will last you a long time for one cashmere tends to be quite expensive I managed to find this on ASOS and it is £95 which is amazing for a 100% cashmere jumper especially one that's on the high street so again it's kind of a obvious choice in terms of the style because it's such a classic fit it's so timeless it's so versatile you will get a lot of wear out of it but more importantly it is really warm and soft and i think that when it comes to investment pieces you are really looking for quality moving on to my next investment piece which is actually print a lot of people argue that prints aren't that timeless but I personally think that checkered prints come around every single year, they never go out of fashion, they never really age. So this pair that I have is from Under the Stories. I purchased a pair of Under the Stories trousers last year and I still get wear out of it now. The quality really is that good that you can wear it for a full year after and I can still get more wear out of it. So this pair is £69 and it's just this gorgeous silky flowy pair of trousers. I've been wearing this quite a lot since I bought them. Um, it has back pockets, it has front pockets, it has amazing pleats. It also has belt hoops so you can style it with a belt or just style it with a really oversized jumper or a blazer. I think checkered print is a really lovely print in autumn but because this is so silky and flowy and lightweight I reckon you could definitely wear it in summer with a t-shirt or a cami and it'll look equally as nice. My final piece is a really good quality shirt, just a classic staple. The one that I'm sharing with you today is from Under the Stories. Again, just a really good store for premium high street pieces that are also affordable. So this one is £79. It's a wool boyfriend fit shirt, so it gives you that nice oversized masculine look that I love. I think it's a really nice neutral tone. It also has really thick cuffs for the sleeves. So it is wool, so it's going to give you a little bit of warmth. Now, if you do tend to get a little bit itchy from wool, I'll probably stay away from the shirt if I was you because I do think that if you did have an intolerance to it, you could definitely feel it with this shirt. I'm luckily okay. Um, but yeah, this shirt's just really classic. I mean, there's so many different ways that you can wear a really classic shirt like this with some jeans, um, with the trousers that I just showed you guys. Just so, so wearable. Even if you wore it as a jacket in summer with a t-shirt and jeans underneath, I think it would be really, really lovely. So that is my final investment piece. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't subscribed to me already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get more videos from me popping up in your subscription box. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.